believe also in me. For in my Father's house, and if it were not so, I would have told you. For I go the way, and I prepare a place for you. And if I go the way and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, you may be also. And when I go with you know, and the way I go with you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether that go with. How can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way. The truth and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father except by me. Good morning, everyone. We are here today to celebrate this life and the homegoing service of Brother Charles Jerome Leverett. And at this time, the family has outlined the order of service for us to preside by, and we will preside as outlined. First of all, we're going to have a hymn by Dick and Darren Waters, followed with a prayer and a scripture. We will have reflection open to two minutes, open to the friends and the eulogy by Reverend George F. Munn. And at this time, we will begin with the hymn. Really? 
God of Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham. Yes. Father God, we come this morning with a bow down the head and a humble heart. Yes. But Father God, we come with thanksgiving in our home. Yes. yes. That you did allow our brother Charles to pass by our way. Yes. And by him passing through this way, Father, made us better people, Father. Yes. Father yes. God, we ask that you stretch his mind in his heart of anything like sin and evil, Father. Ask that you cast him into the sea of forgiveness. For one day, God, you said that we, if dime was all right, Father, then you said after death, we got to go to the church. Father God, we got some sorrow and son, we got some brother, we got some uncle, then got some cousin and sorrow and friend. Ask that you keep the long arm and protection around them, Father. Let them know that you're too wise to make a mistake, Paul, and that you're too dare to do wrong. Like you said that one of these old days, we're going to have to do like Brother Charles. Go into a dying room, Paul, where yes. we won't be able to stay the water no more. We're going to go over yonder, Father, where you said, Joe declared the wicked going to cease from trouble. Yes. You said, over yonder, where we going to be at rest. Yes, sir. Over yonder, Paul, no more dying. Yes. No more crying. We won't have to worry about the hearse wheel rolling no more. Every day going to be like Saturday. After have to have no in your son Jesus name our God church and amen. 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 Okay. Yeah. Amen. I was stripped to reading uh what comes to my mind is Psalm 23 when David was going through the storms of life and right now family I know you're going through some storms because you love the loved one but David find comfort in these words and he began to write them. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He said, he making me to lie down in green pastures and he leadeth me beside the still waters. He goes on and say, he, he restored as my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? Because the Lord is with me. Then he says that he even prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemies, and he anointed my head with oil. He said, my cup is running over because I know surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And when death comes, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Psalm 23, our scripture for us today. Now we will open up for reflection. It says limit two minutes and open to friends and loved ones. If anyone wants to come on, come up and reflect on the life of Mr. Charles Jerome Leverett, we yield it to you now. we will proceed and first of all we give all the honor to God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit we give honor today to this beloved family amen the siblings and the only son and all the loved one that is gathered here today we we thank God and we honor you today in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, today when I think about the Word of God I, I think about um, on this side how we strive to reach our destiny and certain things in life how we seek to uh, attain our accomplishment but along the way we run in, we run into many problems and we face many trials and tribulation and things do not always go the way we want them to go but one of the things that we need to be assured on today and that we have assurance of today is that God is with you. Regardless of what we face in life and what we go through, God is with you. And there are times that some of our worst enemy can be one another. But even in the midst of that, God is still with you. And so that leads me to more this morning as I think about uh, 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 in the book of Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians five and one says that, for we know, if this earthly house or this tabernacle shall be dissolved, we got a building of God not made by hands, but eternal into the heaven. For in this body 
we groan, we moan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is for heaven. That's Second Corinthians 5, 1 and 2. And I just want to speak briefly this morning from these words right here, a better place, a better place. We can, we can, we need to know this morning that Job said that a man born of a woman is a few days and filled with trouble. Meaning that on this side, as I forestated, that we're going to face many trials, tribulation, and trouble. But we did not come here to stay. We are just on borrowed time. Death is something that we don't decide to do. Death is something that we got to do. It don't matter how, how, how much education we have. It don't matter what our accolades may be. It doesn't matter what our status in life may be, what we own, how much money we got, what kind of vehicle we got to drive. None of these tangible things can keep us alive. We must die. But the Apostle Paul gave us assurance in 2 Corinthians 5 and 1, said that, you know, when this earthen house, this body, Paul called it a tent, that when this tent has taken on trouble, when this tent is rotting away, when this tent is dissolving, then we have another building. Another building, not made with hand, but made by God. It is that building uh, that will spend eternity with the Lord. And I want us to know this morning that I'm sure Brother Lever had many trials and tribulation like all of us do. There was many problems probably going on in his body. Today, we may be feeling all right, but we don't know what's going on in these bodies. We can be up today and down. I used to say tomorrow, but now I say the next minute. And we got to understand that if we leave this world, the best way to leave this world is having a relationship with God. Amen? Because if we die outside of the will of God, now, if you're a Christian, if you're not a Christian, then what I'm saying don't mean anything. But if you're a Christian today, if we die outside of the will of God or die in our sin, the Bible said there's one or two places we're going to spend eternity. And that is what? Hell or heaven. Now, 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 some people don't believe in hell. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't even believe in God. But I'm talking to some believers today that believe that if I die outside the will of God, if I die out of Christ, I'm going to spend eternity in hell. But they be rest assured today that if we die in the Lord, there's a better home on the other side. If we die in the Lord, we're going to have a new body, a body that sickness cannot invade anymore, a body that diabetes and cancer and all of these diseases cannot enter into. The body, the Bible calls this body that, 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 that immortality, that this mortality must put on immortality and this corruption must put on incorruption. Because flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And knowing that when we get our new body, that's what John talks about in John 14, 1 say that that you know if we believe in God we also believe in Jesus and he's told he teaches us there that that in my father house of what men and mansion mean that I got a new house to live in meaning that I got a better place because how I many you know on this side they get rough sometimes sometimes you lied on you talked about you mistreated you go to the doctor they give you a bad report I mean there's pain on every side and the only way we are resist and the only way that we are excluded from pain and trouble we got to leave this world right here y'all we got to leave this world so i encourage the family today that if you don't know this man that i'm talking about this man named jesus this man that gave his life on calvary this man that hung bled and died this man that was borrowed on a that was buried in a borrowed tomb but raised the third day morning with all power in his hand if you don't know this man you need to get to know this man today amen so I, I encourage the family that during your time of trial and while you're going through, keep looking to the hill, which cometh all your help, all our help, come from the Lord. And don't forget, this is something all of us got to do. This is something all of us got to do. But I leave, with you, leave a question with you. When your time comes, do you know where you'll spend eternity? Do you know? That's personal. That's personal. You make that decision. Do you know where will you spend eternity? God bless. I know it's hot out here. I'm not going to hold you long. God bless you all. May heaven continue to smile upon each and every one of you. But this is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. God's reading the handwriting said, The days has passed and gone, and the evening shades appear. For may we all remember well the night that death draws near. We lay our garments by upon our beds to rest. One day death going to soon disrobe us all of what we did with this. On behalf of Mr. Charles Levy, 
this family, most of all, we'd like to thank God. Thank each of you for taking out of your busy schedule for your food, your flowers, your visit to the home. But most of all, you're present here today, not to say goodbye, but to say good night. That we will see you in the morning. On behalf of our president, Mr. Robert Everett West, our vice president, Ms. Stephanie Denise West, our chaplain, George Frank Money, and we the West my Prairie staff would like to thank you and everyone for uh, touching your loved one with us. Now we're going to continue to look to the hills, which come to our hip, for all of our hips and comfort of Now we will give back to the Mother Earth that has been given to the past month. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God to take out of this wise providence, our beloved brother, we therefore come to commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. John Wright, blessed are those who die in the Lord, and for said the Spirit that they may rest from their labor and their works to follow them. Let us pray. Father God, we come once again before the throne of grace with thanksgiving in our heart, thanking you this, this day for grace and mercy thanking you for the life of our beloved family but but we lift this family up before you right now god that you will strengthen them in their time of bereavement father knowing that you has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal allow them to know god let them know god let them believe in you god that they trust in you that all things are possible therefore we can pray that they continue to look to the hill which cometh all of their help knowing that help come from the lord we speak blessing upon their life now when we said we thank you in Jesus' name. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide henceforth now and forevermore. And once again, all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Once again, and family, Mr. Charlie, we'd like to thank you for all your acts of kindness. It is now finished. As you pray that when your time comes, that your friends will be as It is now finished. You go by and shake the hand, count the lunch.